A knock at the door, a fast-talking salesman, the promise of a brand-new driveway at an amazing price. Now, it sounds promising, right? Wrong. Call for Action's Keith King says don't fall for it. Yeah, that's right. Good evening, Mark and Elizabeth. The promise of a new driveway at a low price may be hard to pass up, but chances are it is a scam. The Johnson County District Attorney is warning people tonight against falling for the slick sales pitch. An impressive looking new driveway, one that comes at a steep price. This summer we told you what happened to Kim Lumen of Atchison. A door-to-door -door asphalt salesman made her an offer to repave her driveway, but the final bill was a lot higher. I told my husband, yeah, we could do it for around two or three, that'd be great because, you know, we could do that. We could afford that. But when it came into nine thousand, I about had a heart attack. The Johnson County District Attorney says his office recently received a complaint similar to what happened to Lumen. We know the plates were from Tennessee. Um, and it fits the profile of these travelers who go across the country um, targeting elderly individuals. So what can you do to avoid the driveway ripoff scam? Here are two simple tips from the DA. One, make sure the company you hire has an actual physical address. And two, if you are approached by door-to-door -door salespeople, make sure the company is registered to do business in the city where you live. We're very aware that uh, elderly individuals are the targets for these uh, travelers, and, and that's why it's so important to just, you know, buyer beware. When looking for a good company, Howe says always remember good ones never go door-to-door -door drumming up business. Now, these are not easy cases to go after, but Steve Howe says that he has filed criminal charges in the past where the victim has been coerced or intimidated into writing a company a check for the payment. Our Call for Action volunteers also get a lot of complaints on these on a regular basis, so it's always good to do a little bit of homework first so you don't get ripped off. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.